Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.46. The various necessities served by many small wells can easily be served by a large lake. Similarly, whatever results are attained by the worship of various demigods, as described in the Vedas, can easily be attained through the worship of Sri Bhagavan by a Brahmana endowed with devotion who knows the essence of the Vedas. Sar Ardhavarshini Sri Krishna continues, O, oh, what more can I say about the glories of that Bhakti Yoga, which is free from both material desires and the modes of material nature? Even initial endeavors in Bhakti are neither lost nor adverse in their effect. Also in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.29.20, Sri Krishna has told Uddhava, Nahi Angopakrame, O Uddhava, because I have personally determined the transcendental nature of this process, even if selfless action performed for pure bhakti in the form of hearing and chanting is improperly performed, there is no possibility of the slightest loss. However, in this context, resolute intelligence or vya vasa yatmika buddhi also indicates devotion performed with material desires, sakama bhakti yoga. To prove this, Sri Bhagavan uses an example when he speaks the verse beginning with Yavan. Since Udapane is a singular noun, it has been used in a similar case. Here, the word Udapane indicates a group of wells. Many purposes are fulfilled by different wells. One well is used for cleaning after evacuation, one for brushing teeth, one for washing clothes, one for cleaning hair, one for bathing, and one for drinking water. The different purposes fulfilled by various wells can all be fulfilled by a large reservoir of water. It is laborious to go to different wells for various purposes, but it takes no labor to go to one reservoir. Moreover, a small well often has salty water, but water from a large lake is sweet. One should deliberate on this difference between a well and a lake. Similarly, the different fruits one attains to worshipping various demigods by the procedures described in the Vedas, can all be attained simply by worshipping Sri Bhagavan. The word Brahmanasya means those who know Brahman, Veda. Only a Brahmana knows the Vedas, but beyond Vedic knowledge is the knowledge of the real Brahmanas, who specifically know Bhakti to be the ultimate meaning of the Vedas. Srimad Bhagavatam 2.3.2 also states, Brahma Varchasa Kamas tu Yajeta Brahmanaha Patim Indram Indriya Kamas tu Braja Kamaha Braja Patin A person desiring the Brahman effulgence should worship Brahma, the master of the Vedas. A person desiring satisfaction of the senses should worship Indra. A person desiring progeny should worship the Brajapatis, while a person desiring wealth should worship Durga. After this it is said, Akamaha Sarvakamu Va Mokshakama Udara Dihi Divrena Bhakti Yogena Ya Jita Purusham Param Srimad Bhagavatam 2.3.10 Whether one is free from desires, 
full of desires or desirous of liberation, one should, having attained a higher intelligence, worship the Supreme Personality, Sri Bhagavan, with intense bhakti yoga. Just as the rays of the sun are very intense when the sky is free from clouds, similarly, bhakti yoga, which is devoid of jnana and karma, is also very intense. One's intelligence becomes many-branched by worshipping a number of demigods to fulfill various desires. Only Sri Bhagavan, however, can fulfill all of one's desires. When even a particle of such intelligence is engaged in worship, it is considered to be one-pointed because of the superlative nature of the object of worship. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti The various activities that can be performed by the use of separate wells can all be performed by using a large reservoir of water, such as a lake. Similarly, the various desires that can be fulfilled by worshipping many different demigods according to the Vedic directives can all be fulfilled simply by worshipping Bhagavan. If the heart is filled with many material desires, various demigods are worshipped to fulfill those desires. The resulting intelligence, which is many-branched, is known as Avya Vasa Yatmika Buddhi. In contrast to this, the one-pointed worship of Sri Bhagavan is only achieved by focused, resolute intelligence. For this reason, those who know the Vedas explain Bhakti to be the sole essence of the Vedas. Therefore, one's intelligence is only resolute in Bhakti Yoga.